Photometric lights offer several advantages when rendering interior nighttime scenes. One of those advantages is the ability to use IES data files as photometric web distribution patterns. These are text-based files that describe the specific pattern of light that's emitted from a light fixture. If you're working through these lessons, continue from the previous lesson or navigate to the Chapter 5 subdirectory and open the file Chapter 5 Interior Global Illumination 03.max. When rendering lights, there's many times where you want to specify a particular style of fixture. However, if you just use the default settings for photometric lights, we'll end up getting a perfectly uniform distribution of light, which in many cases doesn't look completely photorealistic. It's at this point when photometric web files become a very important part of the level of realism that you can attain from your scene. We're going to assign an IES data file or photometric web file to the lights in this scene in order to get a more realistic rendering. We'll then more than likely need to readjust our exposure control so that our scene is not over or underexposed. We'll be able to tell that once we've added the photometric web file and rendered a test render. Let's select one of the lights. From the main toolbar, click the Select by Name option. This brings up the Select From Scene dialog. Go ahead and click on Photometric Light 001 and click OK in the dialog to select it. Navigate over to the Command Panel and click on the Modify Panel. In the Modify rollout, navigate to the General Parameters rollout and look for the light distribution option in the lower part of the rollout. Click the down arrow and from the list select the photometric web option. This might shuffle the panels around a little bit. Scroll in the modify panel until you get to the distribution photometric web rollout. This is where we can add the photometric data file that we apply to our lights. Click the choose photometric file button. This should automatically place us in the scene assets photometric directory. You'll see in that directory an IES data file called downlight01.ies. Select the file. If you look down at the bottom left of the dialog, you'll see an IES information area. It contains both a visual representation of what the distribution pattern from that data file will look like. It also gives you information about the fixture itself. You can get information like the manufacturer, the type of luminaire, the type of lamp used, etc. Click the Open button to assign the data file to the light. You'll notice in the viewport that the physical shape of the light changes to match the distribution pattern in the IES file. Make sure you're in the camera viewport. Go ahead and click the Render button to render the scene. Fairly quickly, we can realize that we need to stop the rendering because our lights are now really blasting our scene. Now here's what we don't want to do. We don't want to go and adjust the lights. These lights are set to the factory definition for this particular fixture. Now we want to adjust our exposure control so that we see a properly exposed rendering. From the Render menu, select Exposure Control. In the Exposure Control rollout, click the Render Preview. This will render a small thumbnail that will allow us to see the effect of adjusting our exposure value. In the Mental Ray Photographic Exposure Control rollout, click in the exposure value and enter 7, then press Enter. This sets our exposure value so not as much light is getting to the camera when we re-render it. Re-render the scene, and you should see that our rendering is now properly exposed. However, we're still only rendering with direct illumination. So we've assigned a photometric web file to our light, and we've adjusted our exposure so that we get a properly exposed rendering. Press Ctrl-S to save your file.